Hey, what's going on everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be talking about some more AFL news. But without further ado, let's get straight into it. So for those of you guys who haven't heard, forgotten Brisbane Lions player Tom Cutler is actually getting some interest from some Melbourne clubs. Now, I think this is absolutely awesome. Tom Cutler used to be one of my favourite players before all the injuries um, hit. And what a lot of people don't remember was when Brisbane were getting like mad hype and he was getting like you know, all the Brisbane Lions were getting super popular before they made the finals, and it was the, you know, 2018 season where they finished 15th, but they showed so much, and they only lost a couple games by certain points. Tom Cutler was a part of, like, that big five of, you know, Barry, McCluggage, uh, Andrews, uh, Witherden, and uh, Hitwood even, and, you know, Cutler, so the big six or whatever, I don't know how many players, I just counted then. And then, obviously, all these plays eventually became known and superstars when they, they started rolling on in 2019. But Cutler was the one that got injured and just couldn't get his best footy back towards the end of the season when he got back healthy. And then he obviously played in the Nafal Grand Final. Well, now all of this is done, he wants to, you know, show everyone how good he was again, I would imagine. And, yeah, potentially Victorian clubs remember how good he used to be. And yeah, some of them are trying to trade for him. And these include Essendon and Carlton. And one of them, as a Richmond Tigers fan, I hope we really go for him. I mean, he used to be a very good player before he got injured. And Richmond, with all these exits going out, I think Tom Cutler is this very good quality young player who could really help out with the team on... He really can play anywhere. He's mainly a wing, I'd say. He's a big-bodied wing. And, yeah, he's only 24 years old and, yeah, has resisted several opportunities to re-sign, apparently, with the Lions during the season. Yeah, he stuck it out with the NAFL towards the end of the year. He played 18 games in 2018 and, yeah, only three games in 2019. And, yeah, I... I it was very, you know, sad to see. He nearly came back, I think. Actually, yeah, I think he played three games in 2019. He nearly came back, I think. But, yeah, I think he can get back to his best footy, potentially, even with Brisbane. But I think that, for him, he'd probably get better opportunity at, like, Essendon and um, potentially Carlton. And with all these players leaving Essendon, you know, uh, Horacio Fantasia and potentially Joe Danaher, maybe a couple more that might be leaving along the line, too. I think he would be a very, very good ad for them and gives them a lot more depth. Now, with Carlton as well, in my opinion, I think Carlton's midfield is quite overrated. Some people say I'm, I don't like Carlton and I'm, I always talk, you know, crap about them and all of this stuff. But no, I actually, I'm being honest here. I really rate Cripps. He's one of my favorite players and I think he's a very good player. And yeah, there's a couple other players here and there I do like on the Carlton team, but Sometimes, you know, their midfield is a little bit odd to me. You know, Paddy Dow and that, I think, is a bust. And I think a lot of people will agree with me on that. I mean, he's going into his third year. He was, like, pick three or something and really hasn't done anything. And wasn't showing any good signs in the VFL to be a good player. Hopefully, for him, he can turn things around. But I think Cutler is just extra insurance and can pretty much come into the team, easily get a game in their best 22 every single week. And I think he could average at least 20-plus disposals on that wing role. They can go down kick a couple goals every single game because, yeah, he is a very good goal kicker. I remember just watching him and he easily kick a goal or two every single game. And, yeah, a very good player like that. And he can potentially go back and play as a defensive wing if really needed to. He's a very good player and I highly rate this player. So, whoever, whoever gets this player, I think is going to be very good. I don't know if you guys have ever heard me talk so highly rated of a player like this, but... Yeah, I can remember watching this kid and thinking, wow, this kid's going to be an absolute star. He's only 22 years old playing for Brisbane, kicking a goal and averaging 23 a game or something, being an absolute star, really underrated. And then, yeah, obviously the injuries came and I kind of forgotten about him. But now all the hype's come back and I'm extremely excited and I hope he gets a chance um, to prove himself, whether that's at Brisbane or potentially, obviously, another club. And yeah, he could be a very big steal. Really, I think Brisbane would even take a third round for him. Like, yeah, I just think that that's probably what he is worth at the moment with the injuries and stuff like that. But yeah, I hope as a Richmond fan, we can potentially get him. But I heard there's other clubs that might be interested in him, not just Carlton and Essendon. So yeah, I'm hoping Richmond are one of them, obviously. But I think Collingwood, for the Collingwood fans watching this right now, I think Collingwood could be pretty interested in him. And I know probably the last thing that Collingwood need is an extra midfielder right now. But I'm just telling you, this this kid can play. And he can play, you know, wing, forward line. He can go maybe even off the halfback. Whatever you want, this kid, he is a very good player. So yeah, I think that 
Definitely a team needs to trade for him eventually. I think that he'll get back in the best 22 at Brisbane easily, in my opinion, with, you know, uh, a couple players moving on here and there, like, you know, Luke Hodge, etc. He may not be Luke Hodge's position, but I think he'll get in quite easily. But, yeah, I think whether that's at Brisbane or at a different team, he's a very good player, in my opinion. And, yeah, I think that Carlton are probably going to be the front runners at the moment. And, yeah, if you're a Carlton fan, get excited and... Yeah, they should definitely trade for him and give some stuff up. But anyway, I wanted to thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for all the latest AFL content and AFL news. Don't forget to comment in the comment section down below. What are your thoughts and opinions on a team potentially picking up Tom Cutler in the trade? Do you think he should stay for, uh, at Brisbane and prove himself and get back into the 22? Or do you think he should go back to a, or go to a Victorian team? And what Victorian team do you think that is? I definitely would really like to know you guys' thoughts and opinions is down below so make sure you guys leave a like subscribe and comment and i'll see you guys next time goodbye